easy to let the news affect your actions, but when it comes to your finances, how should it affect your investment plan, if at all? Mike and Patrick are here to answer that just uh, very question. So when we're watching the news, what kind of action should we be taking, Mike? Probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad that you started that way. You know, I think it's really tough to uh, watch, whether it's to television or reading newspapers or probably more now, social media and mm -hmm. the Internet. Um, and the pace and speed uh, and the breadth of news that you can get is so vast. Um, you know, it seems like we must, that's like, oh, there's something happening in the world. I, I need to change something or I need to take some sort of action. And oftentimes that's not the case. Um, and so uh, that's why we want to talk about it because we're on the receiving end of those things, right? When sometimes people in certain situations get uh, panicky and I, I understand that. I understand the tendency of that. Um, we are, one of our big jobs is often to sort of go back and remind people of the fundamentals of the plans that we've set for them. You know, and it's not that we're going to ignore the things that are happening, but we're going we're to say, well, wait a minute, let's not just throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, get me out of stocks. Wait a minute, that's not, no, that's probably not the case. Because I liked your, you, earlier you're like, you're, you said, we have things baked into your plan. Right? Yeah. Because you've, you've yeah. considered things that might happen. Yep, absolutely. You know, that you see and, on the news. And, and you mentioned it earlier as well. The, the planning that we're doing is over a 20, a 30, a 40 year time frame. And in that time frame, what's happening today is almost irrelevant, right? Does anybody remember the Greek debt crisis from a few years ago? It's not, it's, it's, <laughs> Except for Mike. <laughs> right, yeah. You, but, but it was really irrelevant to the yeah. long term plan of things. And, and so that's what we want to tell people is that we're baking in a situation where we're looking out long ago and bad things happening is a normal part of that. Okay. It's a normal occurrence. It's an everyday occurrence that bad things are happening somewhere in the world. Well, yeah, and I think there's this also, there's the, there's the nature of news that's important to consider mm -hmm. and, and then human nature. So I think the nature <laughs> of news in general is to, is to inform people, the public, about things that are not right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, nobody said all the buildings in Green Bay didn't burn down last night. Right. But if one did, you'd hear about it, mm -hmm. right? Because that's what we want to hear. Uh, not, not that, that's, a, that's not what we want to hear, but it's like, hey, that's noteworthy. Mm -hmm. um, and so if those are the things that we're always paying attention to, we get this um, sort of skewed assumption that, that things are worse than they are, right? I mean, we, we talk a lot in our office about like human progress and world poverty and violence, all kinds of gun violence. Like you would think that that people are dying more and more by gun violence. And I'm not saying that's not a problem that doesn't need to be addressed, but the, the statistics show that's been on the decline. So part of it is just trying to, to guide personally what you want to focus on. For myself, too, there's like a personal health aspect to it, which is like, that causes a lot level. of anxiety. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, I, about a month ago, I took all social media and news apps off my phone. Mm -hmm. I just, the quick access mm -hmm. to incomplete, like headline data mm -hmm. is not good. You know, it's the 140 characters or 180 yeah. now. Yeah, it's yeah. 280 now. <laughs> yeah. 280. Yeah. Making exactly. that plan, though, is definitely the place yes. to start so that you have the plan and exactly. the advice to follow. The best place to do that is by setting up an appointment with this team. You can head to MacoFinancial.com and find their offices on Main Street here in Green Bay. 920-617-6830. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you.